everybody, this is Freddy Off and welcome to another Minecraft video on the Frillcraft server. Right, we've been doing a lot of building and messing around in the mansion recently. Uh, and I think I'm going to give it a rest for today. Uh, I'm needing to make a potion room in here, which I'll probably make on an upper floor. But I'm going to need blaze rods before I can do that. So I think today we'll have a runoff into the nether. Uh, dig a tunnel over to the closest fortress, which is over to the. Can't remember. I've made a mark. I've made a note of it on the map. Can't remember which way it is, but we'll have a look when I get there. Uh, so I'll dig over there, and then we'll jump down and see if we can find any any blaze uh, spawners. So I think I've got everything I'm going to need. I'm, I'm tooled up. ready to go. Now it's it's over that way. Let's have a quick shifty round. Shifty round for ghasts. It's it's over. It's there is the closest one. Just there. That bit there looks like that bit in the middle now. You can't see my mouse cursor but bang in the middle now. That looks like part of the fortress and it actually doesn't look that far away. So if I head, what's that, southwest, southwest over that, down there, hopefully it's not that far away. I thought, when I initially looked at the map, I thought it was miles away. But it's there, it's only there. Well, how fantastic is that? Has it, got a, has it got a blaze spawner on it? I can't, oh, there it is. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, it's, got, it's only got a blaze spawner as well. I don't want to get too close because I don't want the bad boys coming out and getting me just yet. Look at that. Fabulous. Now, do I, do I make the fatal mistake of running in and trying to light it all up? I can't see. Why not? Oh, I've got, oh, I've done that. I've, done, I've, I've got my armor. I've got my armor on. Let's get in there. I don't really think that torches are going to do a great deal. However, it might be better than nothing. Just to start with anyway. Oh, I thought I dodged it. Clearly not. Right, well, I've got my blaze rods, which is all I wanted initially, but because it wasn't that far away, I think I'm going to have a run around and see what else I can find. Okay, well, I've spent about half an hour now running around and sort of with the skeleton proofing it. Uh, and I've come across a lot of blaze. I've not come across any with oh, and just as we speak. Come on. Nothing. So I'm just going to have another 15 minutes or so. There are lots of areas in here. Now, you probably know withers will spawn anywhere within the bounding box of a fortress. So that's from the, the highest point in one corner to the lowest point in the other corner and anywhere in between as long as they're stood on nether brick a wither skeleton will spawn so it doesn't have to be on those crossroads but there are a few of those here now I've found two blaze spawners in here but they're not close enough to make a dual blaze spawner so what I think I think I've done all of these chests as well yeah what I think I'm going to do, there are another couple of, let me see, get the map back up again. Dangerous while I'm stood in another tunnel, uh, in another fortress. There is quite a, quite a large fortress down there to the south. There's also another quite large one up there to the north. So I think I might check those out as well. 
just in case we can find a couple of blaze spawners next to each other because I've never made a dual blaze spawner before and I'd like to because I've uh, like I said I've never made one and this is not the biggest nether fortress going however if I'm ever in need of a few blaze rods it's not that far away to just run down here and get some Let's get rid of this skelly then. This one's going to give me a skull. I can, I can tell. I can, t I just tell. It's got a skull written all over it. Hmm. What was that coal written all over it? Yeah. That's got coal written all over it. Anywho, we've got a couple of blaze rods, uh, which will set me up. Have I got three? Maybe I could do with a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Never have too many. Where did he go? Where did you go? Come here. Seven. That'll do. So that'll get me a few potion stands and a little bit of blaze powder in order to get the potion rooms or the potion room set up i'm only going to have four or five potion brewing stands in the room i don't see the point of having one of those that oh gas tears they'd be lovely wouldn't they you're behind me as well where are you there you are oi for you to be over the top of lava I'll leave you. You're a lucky ghast. Uh, I don't see the... Oh. Oh, let's have you. Come on. Over here. Where are you? Oh, better not stand too close to the edge when they're firing at you like that. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? I could have been stood on the edge thinking I was all nice and safe. Anyway, where was I? I'm not going to be making a one of those ones that brews every single potion, splash and lingering and the rest of it by flicking levers because I don't see the point. I'm never, ever going to be using... Oh, okay, mate, come on, let's see if we can get you. Oh yeah, we got it. Return to sender. Don't mess with the frills with a bow and arrow. And I've even got myself a gas tier. So that was worth it. Yeah, for the eighth time, I'm not going to be making a, a, a fully automatic one that does every single potion. Because I'm not going to be using all of them, so I'll make one. That only brews three or four. Uh, probably speed, uh, one of healing because I'm going to need healing for my uh, for my uh, uh, mob grinder that's going here, and uh, night vision because I like night vision and breathing, water breathing. So that's four. Is there any more? I'll probably have a brewing stand in the corner with just gunpowder in it as well, which will allow me to turn them into splash potions if I need to. Uh, and actually, the, the the potion of healing has to be splash potions anyway, so I'll probably incorporate that into the mechanism for building, uh, for dispensing the splash potions of healing for the, uh, for the Vindicator that's in the mob grinder. Look at that already. Fam Fantastic. Right, so I'm going to find a room upstairs. I can't get that way yet because I still haven't built my staircase. These, that, it, that, that that's just too small. It's going to have to be the big one down the back. It is me thinking we've got loads of room in these mansions. 
and you start building in them and it, you, you turn out that it turns out that you haven't so this looks like the favorite I think I will build a potion room in here Right, I've been and got my gear and I've got a few bits and, bits and pieces and I've laid out the room and I tell you what, I have got no room again. I, here's me thinking I could get this into a into one of the small rooms. No chance. Biggest room there is, 15 by 15 and, uh, and I still, I've only got this tiny little bit of space down the middle to work with. That's, that's, oh well, that's what it is, that's what it is. So, uh, one, two, three. Let's see if we can build one of these things on camera. What are the chances of that frills, eh? Right, so there's the output chest. And we need one of those. We need a hopper going into that. Then we need the... Then we need the brewing stand that we've uh, just got the blaze rods for. And we need a... An input for the water bottles going in that side and then we need an input for the ingredients going into the top now in here we need to put I think it's 22 one two three four five six seven eight nine we need 19 stack of 19 there the 21 22 so we need to put 22 items in there that will never ever go into the brewing stand because we're going to be pulling a comparator signal off of there so we need that to have 19 items in it. So if we grab the comparator now, Peter comparator, grab a comparator and put it there. It's going to pull a signal with a signal strength of one currently because there are only 22 items in there. So when the next ingredient goes in there, it'll pull off a signal strength of two. Which then will lock, lock the bottom hopper, which is going to stop the water bottles from falling out. And we need a torch on the back of this thing as well. For later like that then we need to put some more input chests at the top then we need to get some uh, some droppers at the front let's grab a couple of temporary blocks up there to start with get the droppers we need the droppers facing into the hoppers just like that brilliant okay so now we need to put some kind of some kind of torch tower going up into the back of these blocks uh, do I need possibly want to be using slabs up there if I can get away with it just for the time being I, at the moment I can't remember whether or not these will interfere with other oh actually of course I need uh, I need slabs because if I don't have slabs when I put redstone on there it's going to lock those hoppers if they were solid blocks so I'm definitely going to need slabs so if we have a block like that um, and like that so that is going to lock the the water bottles and then from there we need to just go this is why I love jump two like that I could probably get away with a solid block there but Hey ho. Repeater on four. That like that. You see at the moment that would lock those hoppers, which wouldn't be any good at all. And then we need to put repeaters on four ticks on here. Okay, 
Okay, so now I need to get some water bottles, don't I? I guess. Let me run off and get some water bottles. I'll be back in two shapes of a lamb's tail. Okay, so I've got myself some water bottles. I've filled them up over in the corner there. I've also gone and got the only three bits of nether wart that I've got from the... Why I only got three, I don't know. But I've got the three. Uh, hopefully they'll grow a little bit. I could always run down and get some more if I need them. But I don't need them at the moment. Now I've got my water bottles in, we can sort out which way these dis uh, these hoppers are droppers which way these droppers are going to fire because they're all going to be fired at once minecraft decides which ones will be fired first it's usually uh will be the the first item down will usually be in the center hopper and then it just depends on the orientation, which way you're looking or which way the hoppers are facing that determines which ones are going to be next. But I can never remember. So it's always just easier to stick random items in this. So if I put... We put nether rack in the left one. We put soul sand in the middle one. And we put nether rack in... Sorry, nether brick in the right-hand side one. If I put uh, an item now in there, that should start the system. So if I put that in and take it out. Come on, work. There you go. So now the system is off and running uh, and it's automatically fired. I need to put a few more water bottles in there. Not that I don't need them, but I just will do. There you go. So the, the system has now fired the the three dispensers at the top, the three droppers, the three droppers at the, if they were dispensers, it'd have fired them all the way across there. Three droppers have been fired and they've gone into these hoppers. So now we should be able to tell what order they're in. So the first item is the soul sand, which is the center one. So that is going to be your main ingredient. So your next ingredient in the hopper, can I get to it? I can't get to it. This side, I've got to go around the back. The next ingredient is the nether rack and then the nether brick. So you've got nether rack, then nether brick. So you've, your main ingredient goes in the middle. Your extender, your multiplier, uh, that would be your redstone or your glowstone would go in this one and then your trailing nether wart would go in this one and if I take these out that one out that one out that one out they'll all fire again and it should come out in exactly the same order so we should have soul sand then nether rack then nether brick soul sand nether rack nether brick and then again soul sand nether rack nether brick Last time, soul sand, nether rack, nether brick. So it's it's your main ingredient, your multiplier or your extender, and then your uh, and then your trailing nether wart. Uh, so I need to get myself some some ingredients really. Uh, so I'm going to run off and grab myself. What shall we make? Uh, I've got loads of got a bit of gold let's make the glistening melons I've, I've, uh, I've I'll run over my gold farm grab some gold we've got plenty of melons we'll start making some potions of glistening melon uh, and that way we can start well that'll be one of the one of the things we need for the mob farm so I'll be back here with some ingredients in a minute well I've been I popped back into the nether got myself some more nether warts and I've got myself some melons and I've got myself some gold so if I make myself some glistening glistering glistening is it glist glisten it's glistening isn't it if I put my glistening melon pretty sure this I, I built it so long ago so long ago let's put some glowstone down get a decent pick so I can get as much glowstone as I can Get the glowstone in there, get the nether wart in there, uh, so I'm going to need one nether wart to start it running. I've also put a start stop on it, 
basically I've put a block on there with a lever on it which stops the water from going the water bottles from going into the system which in effect just turns it off uh, so if I turn it back on again we should have water bottles in the system um, get rid of that and that and that right so that came out wrong didn't it right there we go right is that is that right so we've got we've got the uh, the nether wart in there we've got the main ingredient the glistening melons next and then we've got if I can see around the back and then we've got the glowstone which has just gone through and then we you might have seen we've got the trailing nether wart in the system again So we've got the glistening melon going through. Awkward potion, glistening melon. Glowstone, potion of healing. Extended potion of healing. Then the water bottle should all fall out and the system should start again. Glistening melon, glowstone, and nether wart. Perfect. So, uh, so I could remember how to do it. Now, if it runs out of water, it'll stop. If this gets filled up and backs up, that water, the water bottle, the uh, the potions won't be able to fall out. So it'll stop. It doesn't have a fail safe on it for if we run out of ingredients. So I just need to be careful that I don't run out of ingredients, especially my main ingredient, well, any ingredient. If we run out of any of the ingredients, it'll still keep dispensing because I just, well, I've not put a fail safe on it just, uh, just because I haven't. So if we turn that off like that, when these have all brewed, it should stop. Perfect. And then when I turn it back on again, those water bottles are going to flow through into there and it's all going to start. And I have got instant potions of healing. So instant potions of health, uh, which is perfect. So I'll build uh, another one of those here and another two on this side. And I will stick one of these just on its own at the end uh, and have gunpowder in it. And that way I can just put my, my potions of healing into the end to turn it into splash potions. I probably will have something that only dispenses splash potions of healing downstairs behind the back of the mob grinder because I'm going to need a lot of splash potions of healing for the for the for Johnny and the mob grinder because he's going to take quite a bit of damage and uh, and I don't want to be running around filling it up every five minutes. So we're probably going to want massive amounts of storage and a potion brewer running continuously okay so we'll i'll get these made i'll get it totted up and then we'll have a a quick shifty at it right i was just stood here thinking actually how am i going to get water bottles into this chest uh, and i you know i was going to be really boring and just put a Put a hole there and put a, the the chest sticking out the front but then i'd have to fill the bottles and bring them over here and put them in manually so i've decided i'm going to try and incorporate a, a bottle refiller and bottle putter in the chester kind of thing uh, i don't know what i'm going to call it but anyway if i grab uh, observers now over down there you go if i put an observer there with that pointing into that and then a bit of dust I've put down I've got to put a chest down and put a load of stuff in the chests because I was just running out of room uh, that there that there do I want to be do that do it 
that slob, son. Another rack in there. Is it making it all the way through? Looks like it is. 47, have we got any left in there? Oh, that's perfect. Better than I could have hoped. Perfect. That is fantastic. Right, so if I if I now block this up, there's no room around the back, is there? No. I'm going to have to put a bit of lighting in there. You know what I'm like with lighting when it comes to redstone. Light it up, boy, light it up. Uh, and now if I stick a, a bit of ice, if we, oh, I've got a water bucket. If I stick a water bucket just there, blowing back that way. And if I fill my inventory now with, I need to craft some, craft some water bottles. If I now fill my inventory with rubbish, any old rubbish, uh, just so it fills the, the inventory up, I can now stand here and fill my water bottles. And because my inventory is full, I'm just going to throw them. I need to be pointing above that hopper. If I'm pointing at that hopper, I'll access the hopper. But if I point just above it, I should be able to throw them. Because my inventory is full, I can't hold on to them, so it's throwing them back out again. Throws them into the water. They get carried down to that hopper. They go up the system. And they start filling up. Filling up in there. That is fantastic. Thrills, you're a genius. Stone cold, handsome genius. That has saved me loads of time and made me very happy. Okay, it's taken up one more block than I was hoping it would do, but I've still got enough room on this side to do that. I'll, if I fill those in with blocks, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I'm, I'm going to say no. I'm going to put a bit of glowstone which I probably don't have. Should I make a bit of glowstone? Because I can. And stick it there. And then I need to probably put a block. Oh, I can't, can I? Because of the... Because of the hopper above it let's get behind here then can i put anything behind here i can can't i that could go there it's about as good as i'm gonna get it okay but that does mean i, I can't really see anything behind there so i'm i'd have liked it to have been a bit more enclosed so you can't see anything however that is brilliant. So item frames on the front of there with the whatever it is. I'll probably put a sign on there telling you what potion it is. And I'll build another three of these. There, there and there. Put a, a blank or a plain brewing stand there with just gunpowder in it. So I can turn them into splash potions if I want to. Uh, tidy it all up a little bit. And there I have a woodland mansion potion brewing room it's a little bit cramped but it works fabulous so here it is in all of its glory we've got uh, it's looking all woodland mansion here i think uh, yeah i think it looks great you'll have to let me know let me know in the comments what you think so we've got our potions of health two potions of healing in this chest we've got uh, i've decided to go with potions of night vision in this one uh, but I don't have many carrots. Uh, well, I've got loads of carrots, but I don't have a great deal of gold. So we, we don't have much in there, which is why it's turned off. We've got potions of water breathing that are going to go in here. But we don't currently have any puffer fish. So I'm gonna, going to need to set up a, an AFK fish farm in one of the little rooms, which is a job for later. And in here we've got fire resistance. We'll have potions of fire resistance. 
which we have got a couple of. Now, as I mentioned at the end, I've just stuck a uh, a brewing stand at the end with a little mechanism on it uh, that allow. It, once you press the button, it gives it enough delay to turn off a torch that's behind the back of this block which opens that hopper and allows all of those bottles to flow through at the same time it locks that hopper that's got the the normal potions in it uh, so once I press the button those potions fall out and then when the button is released again the bottom hopper is locked and the new potions flow in and get turned into splash potions get rid of that fella you didn't see that nobody saw that so if I press that they disappear new ones come in maybe the delay's not quite long enough I'll have to work on it but anyway the uh, I, thought, I thought I've got a zombie behind there have I got a zombie behind there be a nightmare that will anyway they're going to get turned into splash potions of healing there you go. It's a, it, it's a work in progress. It's it's not finished because I'm going to be making a, another one downstairs for the mob grinder anyway. Are you working in there, fella? Oh, yeah. In the naughty corner. So you'll never guess what. We've run out of time again today, everybody. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Now, if you didn't like it and you want to leave me a thumbs down, which is fine. I mean, I can't please everybody, uh, but let me know why. So, I mean, I, I love getting positive feedback. I love everybody's comments. You've all been really kind. It's been fantastic reading them all. And I will read every comment I am sent and I will answer every comment or question I am sent. But if you don't like it and you leave me a thumbs down, let me know why. Because if I don't know it's broken, I can't fix it. So anyway, uh, if you've enjoyed it, let me know. Leave me a thumbs up, leave me a like and subscribe for future videos. This is Frilly Off and I'm out of here.